<laughs> Scalawag! Is this the rascal of blended Scotch single malt whiskey? We're gonna find out right here, flat cap whiskey. Scalawag, I love that word. I like saying it. Scalawag. Scalawag. Right. Behave badly like a scalawag, a rascal. Tell us about the scalawag. Scalawag, tell you about the scalawag. The scalawag, kind of like the Goldrins from the same place. It is a Douglas Lang and Company release. This is a blend, space side blend, which means it has some Macallan in it, some Glenrothes. Um, what else am I missing here? Some Macallan, Glenrothes. Oh, Mortlock. Mortlock. Which Mortlock. I've never had. I no. love that word, Mortlock. I've only had Macallan. Macallan. Macallan 12, classic. It's good, but it's, you know, it's all right. It's a good, it's a good, good sherry. Whiskey. It's 46%, no caramel coloring, non chilled filtered, filtered, like right. it should be. As this says, good things come in small packages. Take our scalawag here. Little roughhousing terrier dog. The latest in a long line of Douglas Lane family fox terriers. The cheeky wee rascal. With his one remaining front tooth is a lively and full character as they come. Named after him, this small batch release is a blend of finest Speyside malts, including, amongst others, those distilled at Mortlach, McAllen, Glenrothes Distilleries, with a sweetly spiced warmth at its heart. All right, should we dig on in? Yeah. They've I, been sitting here for a while. They have been. Do a nice nose to Scalawag. 46%. It's very sweet. Is this sherry? Yeah. Yeah, I can smell the sherry. There's sherry in it. I don't like committing to what I, my initial smell. Because <laughs> <laughs> what if I'm wrong? I don't want to say. This is going to sound stupid. <laughs> this is going to sound stupid, but it tastes like dog. It kind of sounds like, it kind of, kind of like a, like a buttery biscuit or something. Or maybe your favorite butterscotch. Maybe. I don't know if I, I don't know. Or something candied or something. It smells, it's very sweet. Uh, scallywag going on here. Spicy. It's definitely spicy. Mm. Mm. It's warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you Richard Patterson? <coughs> you gotta throw it over your shoulder there, Buckwheat. Maybe white pepper. White pepper, black pepper. No, white pepper has like a it's like a milder but farmy taste. I don't get really, I don't get any oak or anything like that on the finish. It's long. I do like, get oak. I get oak initially. I get definitely get some oak. It's still like spicy-ish. I'm, I'm saying spicy, but in the back of your tongue, but it kind of stays there. It's peppery. It's lingering. Yeah, I think it's a white pepper. You think it's a white pepper? I think it's white pepper, and then it kind of turns into a black pepper. Add a little bit of water. I had like, about half ounce almost. No, it wasn't that much. Oop, I missed the glass. <laughs> My own, it, it just rolls. It's a shot glass. You, you grabbed the wrong. I grabbed the wrong thing. You grabbed the wrong glass. Yeah, leave it to these youngsters today. They don't know how to pick the right glass. Let's let it sit for a little bit. So tell me a little bit. What do you, what do you think about? What are your first impressions of Scalawag, who also blend the Gauldrons, which we did a review on, check it out. The Gauldrons I thought was fantastic, and I think this is pretty comparable. Scalawag, I think he's pretty good. It's I think I it's never really. I don't think I've ever had a space. Well, I've had McCallum. McCallum's a space side. McCallum's a space side. McCallum twelve. Hmm. I, I like to. I like to have a different McCallum. I didn't I care for the McCallum twelve. I like McCallum twelve. It's pretty good. It's good. 
It's good. It's... I'm, a, I'm a Petey man. All I got is Pete whiskeys or scotches. His name is Pete. That's why he likes Peter's whiskey. I'm not Pete. Yeah, it's a joke. I wasn't that funny. He's blowing this whole video. We may have to start over. <laughs> we may have joke. to start over. It's good stuff, though. It's good stuff. It kind of mellows out a little bit more. Adding a little bit more water to it. Small batch you release. Get, hold on, there's a... Prague to Scotland. Uh, go to that. Want to go to the map? Not the map. Oh, it's kind of like... I wanted to see the it's fruity and spice. Casey notes it says rich, richly spiced with sweet vanilla. I get like a brown sugar. Sweet stewed fruit, dark chocolate with spices. I definitely get the spice. I, I don't. I don't understand how people get chocolate. I just don't. It's like, like they make it up. It's like uh, what did someone say? The uh, cinnamon and. Either cinnamon and, and something else that typically don't taste, smell or taste like each other. Zesty orange, sweet tobacco. You know, the more the more I think about it, you get fruitcake in the finish. <laughs> you are fruitcake. I this actually does taste a lot like Macallan Twelve. After that last sip, I took. The Macallan 12 is coming out more. I uh, can really, definitely, this definitely has, but Macallan 12 is chill filtered and this is not. So it must be like maybe a cask version of the Macallan 12. They, will, they probably got casks for these people. These little distilleries. It smells very similar to Macallan 12. Stewed fruit. We, I think we're gonna have to do a comparison with Macallan 12 and Scalloway. You can do that. This is probably half the price of Macallan 12. Well, yes. Well, no, actually, I don't think it is. McCallum's was what, sixty, seventy dollars? How much is it? Eighty. Well, this I think this was sixty, and this is like forty-five. 40. Yeah, about forty-five. I mean, these look. I thought the Gauldrons was well worth its price. I agree. It's fantastic, especially when you can't get Campbell Town whiskeys, right? Or Scotch. Scotches. You can't. They're not easy to come by up here. And Scalawag is a very good blend as well it's pretty good i'd buy that i'd make these a daily drinker i i enjoy <laughs> them i would i wouldn't mind drinking them daily i wouldn't mind drinking them twice a day twice a day but the problem is is that they are good they i think they're both excellent blended scotches excellent i like the nose too it does smell really good it's got like a what amberish color like a beer color yeah, I'm going to put a little more water and see if I can get some. You're spilling water all over the bar. Oh, no. We'll fix that. We'll fix it in post. I'm getting, I'm getting some scotch mist. I'm not getting anything. Look at that. Uh, I think this is your eyes. No, look at... Look. So tell me. Should, should, should we see that? Should we, should we show the camera? Let's show the camera. Let's show the camera. Let's show the camera. Yeah, there is. It, it's definitely a huge difference. That, that's a good sign. When you get Scotch mist, that's a good sign. So here we go. Scalawag. Because of the Scotch mist, but adding some water. As I've smelled it continuously, and I'm not great on telling you what things smell like or even taste like for that matter. I kind of just go with what I, my gut. But tasting it, smelling it, nosing it, being more official. It does remind me more of that Macallan 12. And Macallan 12. Yeah, maybe it does. Macallan 12 is a good, consistent it's scotch. Consistent, yeah. Very consistent. Sherried scotch is very, it's good. It's not the best in the world. I mean, I, I much prefer a peated scotch, right? A nice, you know, long row, Ardbeg, Lafroig, Lagavulin. But you know what? For 40 some odd bucks, Ooh, this maybe I do get the McCann. tobacco taste. Kind of tastes like a, like a smell of a menthol cigarette. Hmm. I just got like that hint of like menthol, which maybe bans soon. 
keep it there. I'm te- <laughs> testing you. <laughs> Do you want me to get political? No. Because Joe Biden wants to ban menthol cigarettes. Yes, we know that. Right. And that's his voter base. It's true. Hmm. Cools, Salem's, Newport's. What's mom going to smoke? She's... Seneca's. No, it's menthol. You're not going to be able to get it. Well, it hasn't been banned yet. Hasn't but been anyway, banned. this is pretty good. That's it. It's pretty good. What, I, what I, I, I can't remember what we gave the Goldrins. I want to say we gave it like in the high 80s. Mm-mm. I use a Mimar. I mean, we did a one. That, we did I a did one this that, at we, seven and a half. You gave it a seven and a half? Really? The Goldrins, yeah. As a blend? I believe so. No, no, but you gotta you gotta separate your blend mark in a in a in a. Yeah, mark. my blend mark, my blend, my my mark for a blend. I think I put this at around seven. That's like the first blend. No, it's this. I mean, I haven't taken notes. I'd have to go view it again. No, but there's no way you did that at seven point. If I would look, if so, these two here, I think they're similar. I'm gonna say a my mark, a my mark on blended scotch. Seven and a half, seven and a half. I'll, I'll say eight. What? No. No way. One out of ten. One out of ten, but a seven and a half is for a blend. So you, what was but, the no, I have a blend mark. A yeah. blend my mark. Yeah. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. So you, what, what, is out of the mess bet? Don't you hate when people argue with you on your rating? I mean, it's my rating. It ain't his rating. It's my rating. Seven you? and a half. I rate these to be similar scotches from a rating tasting Nosing wow. standpoint. I think that's insane. This is at least maybe an 84, 85. Means nothing to me. 80.4 8, 80. or 8.4 and 8.5 between there. So you rated higher than me. Yeah, I think it's. I think these are. 10 I think points. it's kind of hard to beat seven and a half for a blend. I mean, it, this is that's a blend. You can have a, you can have a nine blend. This is not comparable. You just know it's a blend. You remember, a malt mark and a blend mark are two separate scores and they're two separate categories. I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Oh, God. I think it's better. I might seven. adjust it as I have more blends. What do you mean? You had Isla Mist. We've had Goldrins. We've had that. Yeah, Isla Mist. What I rate Isla Mist? I can't remember. Yes, I you, think yes, I gave you, it like a six. I don't know. I'll have to roll back and see. I don't remember. We need to start writing this, is, this down. We do, but this is so much better. Isla Mist... I think I rated about a six. Six and a half is actually pretty good ranking. Talisker, Storm, I would have rated like a four. I go 80. That was better than a four. No. Well, we can, we can revisit them. Hey, take a look at those videos. Talisker, Storm. Be sure to like, the comment, Galdrins. and subscribe. I'm sure this video, which is supposed to be like 15 minutes, is rolling on to like 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, let's flat cap this whiskey. I think it's better. I think it's an 8, 8.4, 8.5. You're insane. That's too low in my opinion. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't your, your, what do you call it? Your, what's the red label? What is that called? Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker is not that great. I mean, yeah. That's, that's almost like what you're thinking. I feel like you're setting in with that 7.5. No, Johnny Walker. Okay, look. Johnny Walker is like a, definitely a 4. Johnny Three. Walker is terrible. Johnny Walker Red. It's not yeah, great. It's not great. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. You're right. It's not great. But listen, I, I recommend you guys out there pick up a Galdrins. Pick up a Scallywag. I don't think you can go wrong, especially for the price. The Scallywag really does remind me of McAllen 12. Very close. I mean, it's not a perfect match, but you can really pull out the McAllen 12 on, just, nose and also the just for Just for when our favorite person goes. Let's uh, give it a nice taste, hand rub taste test. That's for you, Billy. Mm. Candy fruit. <laughs> Candied fruit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even pull one out of my butt. That's good. 
All right. Look, at these things even have a picture of a pregnant woman saying, don't drink. I know. I think they still have like the year. Do they all have that? Standard drinks is 27 aprox. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. We have to look that up. No pregnant women. Dispose of properly. Recycle. And I have no idea what the yin yang arrows mean. No idea. But yeah. Director of malts. Director of whiskey. Douglas Lang Company. They're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check them out. Recommend if you see this in your local liquor store, pick it up. Buy it. If you see Scalawag or the Gauldrons, buy it.